Hi right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Vlogging today. It's a lovely day outside. It is a beautiful day today. It's typical, isn't it? Like I've got so many things to do and it's such a nice day. I just kind of just want to be out on a bike. Oh, she does look good. Argos, Argos, Argos. Where is it? Oh, this one. Got to pick up some interesting new bits. Bloody face mask. Come on then, let's go. 787 7614 So this guys is a flat that I own. I'm actually renovating it to try and sell it. Um, but meanwhile, I'm gonna be using it as a bit of a studio um, for the video. So hopefully over the next few months we can use this to create some pretty cool content in it. I've already started just set up a little um, streaming setup. And that's what these bits are for. So I've got HDMI lead there. I've got an Elgato cam link. Now the idea with this is basically what I want to do is I want to set up my streaming setup. Um, I want to use, rather than a webcam, I want to use a proper proper camera so I can actually record um, my stream um, in 4K as well. So idea, that goes up the top there um, into one of these cam links. And then that will allow me to plug a HDMI feed into this Mac Mini. Yeah, got a nice wave through mic here as well, trying to improve the audio a bit and a light as well. All right, so here's the camera dongle. Um, so basically, HDMI goes in one end and then that goes in the computer. Might need to use the little, get lock on a little extension thing um, for that. Probably not too long so it doesn't affect the bandwidth of it, but yeah, cool. Hopefully, this will allow me to connect the camera, the A6500 with a nice lens on it, into the computer. I'm not sure if it needs any drivers for the Mac. So sticking a HDMI plug in there, other one in the other end. Yeah, that's a bit tight in there, though. that's not gonna fit. I'm gonna need to use that extension. I really should get a hub actually for that. There is actually a hub on this, on this monitor. Yeah, maybe I can use that for the, uh, for the mic instead of actually plugging the mic directly into the, yeah, I've got the mic plugged directly into that USB. So don't, I'm not gonna need a fast one for the, for the mic. So I'll just plug that into, I'll plug that into the monitor. Can't find the USB ports. Some USB ports are under there somewhere. Well, I'm not sure if that's a USB 3 hub. I think there might be a, I don't know. So it is a USB 3, it's a USB 3 hub on here, which is pretty cool. Okay, well I'm still gonna put it in the, directly in the back of the computer, just this one. Um, I'm using out the other two, one's for the display and one's for the, um, the SSD. Uh, this is only a 256 gig um, SSD Mac, so yeah, that's why I'm using that for editing. Uh, so, right, we're good to go then, I can just plug that in. Right, so it's connected. This is showing, I've just literally plugged this in, fired up OBS Studio, and it actually just works without any drivers or anything. That's pretty incredible. Um, and I just actually had to, my camera was actually set to um, set to the wrong mode here, because I've got two presets, and one of them is 1080p. Um, so that was just full HD, so I just flicked it back over to that. Um, and now you can see we're in 4K, and we're actually recording, and there's like, pretty much no little bit of lag slight little bit of lag it's slightly delayed but we'll have to see how if that syncs up to the um syncs up to the audio um it's capturing the audio as well from the mic so that's pretty cool exciting okay so i've been playing around a little bit um the audio was actually out of sync so i've kind of had to adjust the sync on obs studio so i'm using obs studio to capture everything that's basic what I've decided I'm gonna use. I might, you know, change, I'll uh, we'll look at other solutions, but OBS is great and it's free and everything else. So now I'm gonna flick over to what I've recorded on the computer. So basically the Sony camera um, into OBS Studio, save to a file on the computer, which I can then just like chuck in my video editing software Final Cut. Um, yeah, and we'll see how it sounds. The audio is coming from the mic as well. Right, so I'm now recording from the camera into the computer. Um, this is pretty cool. Uh, hopefully my audio is synced up, but yeah, the audio is coming from the mic. Um, so this is 4K, um, pretty exciting, because this means I can just 
if this works, I can just dump this straight into Final Cut. I've got high quality audio, I've got 4K video, um, and then I can add webcams and God knows what else as well. Pretty interesting. Right, so yeah, I'm gonna move, I've moved the camera over the other side now, so I can actually, because the light end's all wrong, which is the next thing we need to sort out. So, key light air, I'm gonna stick one of these on the back of the desk. I'm waiting for a, um, a stand as well to put this camera on, so I can mount this camera above um, above the monitor. But, all's looking good. This is recording. What could go wrong? We're on, it's saying 23.7% um, CPU usage so this is crazy it's like transcoding in real time this Mac mini is flipping insane honestly the power of this 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 thing there's no it's not you know it's not even warm it's no there's no fans blowing if you had a MacBook Pro doing this or something you'd have to it would be like flipping blooming gale force 10 or something right Let's get this. Um, let's get this unboxing. All right. Before I do any more, I'm actually I'm running off batteries on this camera, so I think I'd better just try and um, connect it. So if there's noise in the background, because the decorator's, decorator's got his radio on. Um, yeah. So I'm going to try and link up some power to this camera. So yeah. So I'm not using the batteries. It's going to work. Oh, this might cause issues actually, because I've got a webcam. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna work um, unless we can quit. Right, we're back. So yeah, I need to change some settings on this camera to enable. Yeah, we're on half battery already. So look, we've got PC remote here. If I turn that to just mass storage, what that should mean? Oh, you can't you can't see the menu on here, which is absolutely absolutely fine. So. Hopefully now, if I plug it in, it might just go mass storage then, won't it? Oh. Yeah, I don't want that. Right, it's Andy from the future here. You'll notice it's looking pretty sharp now because I've kind of been playing around with things a little bit. Um, how I solved that problem, there is a setting on the camera, on these Sony cameras that has USB power supply. You can change that to on, and then what you can do is when you actually plug the USB plug into um, the camera and the computer it will try and go into mass storage mode and you can actually just hit enter and go into playback mode and then from there it's actually powering the camera and then you can actually activate the lens by just hitting the um, the button on top of the camera like the shutter button and then it basically just powers the camera from USB it's not connected and um, it's all well and good so back to the video okay so now I've actually got the camera back on I've got my light set up there as well um, it's not all final because I've still this room still got a bit of decorating to happen but also I need the thing for the camera to prop it up and camera stand that's what the word I was looking for um, okay this is what I was looking for I was having some battery issues um, mainly I just need a power supply for this camera um, and then I can run it but hopefully this will allow me to Right, we're in battery charging mode, fantastic. Okay, so if I get this camera and I put it to my little thingy here. All right, here I am. Okay, so what I need to do, I think this camera looks better. This is the ZV-1 on, um, plugged into the HDMI. Right, okay. So this is on HDMI capture, let's try and put yeah, that looks way better than the Sony. Uh, I mean, they're both Sony, but that looks way better than the other one. Let's try and zoom in a bit. That's the great thing, you've got optical zoom. So what I was gonna try and do is um, just show you what I'm trying to, basically what I'm trying to do with this system, and that is um, get all of the footage that I've captured using this system and just bang it into Final Cut um, so I can actually start editing. So let's try doing that. So I can fire up that, it's only giving me a little bit of that window, I don't know why, should be enough, just to show you what I'm trying to do anyway. Um, so yeah, basically, this is these are my clips here, um, just on the left hand side here, this panel here. These are the clips that I've captured off the SD card, so there's me at the beginning. So I'm gonna go and grab all of these clips. It's just amazing how much you actually 
platinum in film when you do this. So, seven, say 70 clips or something. Anyway, so those are the clips. So basically, right the way up, up to here, I think I, well, I'm talking about, yeah, before I go live onto this system. So these are clips from the SD card. And then if we go to here, you can see here, these are the clips that I've actually captured um, from the system, from OBS Studio. So if we look here, 152, um, and we go right back here. And if we sort of we try and play a bit of that, I think this is, this is something from the other day actually. Um, today, these are the clips that start. So this is where I was kind of messing around, you know, right at the beginning. So you can actually see me just experimenting with really bad light. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is just basically just grab those and drag them into Final Cut. So just into the, into there, no, it won't let me do that. Can I just import them into there? No, it won't let me do that for some reason. It doesn't let you do that now. Um, I'll just whack them into the timeline. So there you go. So we've got our audio and the audio from the mic and we've got our video from the camera, which, do you know what, that 60, I think there's something wrong with that lens on that 6500. Look how red I look. It's ridiculous. Um, yeah, and then we're up to, but yeah, basically that is what we're doing. So very easy to just get a clip from recorded straight into the computer. So let's go back to our, um, Oh, this is getting confusing now. Um, if we take off display capture, there I do, I'll come back. So <laughs> this is gonna take a little bit of getting used to, but effectively it's a pretty good system, I think, because I'm capturing great audio from the USB mic. I've got um, high quality video with no issues with power supply now because I'm running it off of the USB port, um, charging it off of the USB port actually running off the USB port, I think. Um, so then, yeah, your batteries aren't gonna go flat. Maybe there's might be an issue with like overheating on this camera, chucking out 4K, I don't know. We'll have, to, we'll have to sort of worry about that when we come to it. You know, so I was using, I was using that. I was using the, and the focus, look, the focus actually works really well as well. Look at that, the quality of that is awesome. So I was using this camera, but I think, as I say, it's something, something not quite right about it. It's the colors look off has been dropped a few times. Um, so yeah, that's that. Yeah, what else can I say? I can actually monitor my audio in the headphones as well, which makes me look like a professional YouTuber now. Um, so all I've got to do really now is just sort out stuff behind me, the backgrounds, how it's gonna look and everything else. But I think this is gonna work. Um, 38 CPU usage, the Mac Mini is just like vaguely warm under there. Um, no fans running, it's nice and quiet, apart from the decorator outside. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's all good. So guys, hope you've enjoyed this one. Um, let me know in the comments what you think. This has just been a kind of bit of a live, um, this is, it's, I'm just looking at this, like, this is actually rendering in the background as we, we sort of did, like, it's paused 49%. It was rendering as it's, well obviously it's different, it's Final Cut, so it's, it's doing its own multitasking, but we're at 27% CPU usage on OBS Studio, and um, it is just not even breaking a sweat, which is just unbelievable. So all I need now is sort out the area and everything else, um, and yeah, it's Mac. This Mac's not even breaking a sweat. Looks to me, do you know what? I might actually just use, I might use this camera, I might use this um, ZV-1, because it, it just looks, it makes me look younger. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know what you think in the comments. And um, there'll be more from me like this, ranting, raffling, waffling on, raffling. Um, yeah, we'll catch you in the next one. Right, guys, so I just wanted to stick this at the end of the video um, just to show you I've kind of like finalised what I'm going to do, but it's, it's still not going to be finished. But this is kind of how I've ended up. So. I've got the camera behind me, camera's up here. Um, got the ring light, um, not ring light, just the, the Elgato light on the side. 
bit of backlighting. Um, so yeah, I think it sounds pretty good. Um, this mic might need to be put on a bit of a higher stand because yeah, I think the audio the audio definitely sounds better with these mics when you're you're right up close. Um, but still works, still works down there. Probably picks up a bit too much too much echo, so I might have to um, extend that. Anyway, that's where we're at. Catch you in the next one. Thank you.